All right. <laughs> Welcome to Night Guard. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like, I started the game up and I'm like, I always try to do an introduction, like name what the game was. And I, I sat there and I went, the name isn't on the screen. Like all the other games. <laughs> I was like, I had to exit out <laughs> and look again. So, welcome to Night Guard. A game where you're a security guard in a booth. Beyond that, for storyline, I, I don't know yet. Another boring night, another horror movie. I love how you can't make out anything else on the TV other than the word night guard. I wonder if that's an actual movie. Down, 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 down. Is this where the... Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Maybe I should check the fuse box. How about I check the phone? Oh, that's the office phone. Not the cubicle phone, not the guard shack phone, but... All right, so obviously I have to go outside. I was about to say, I'm like, dude, am I underground or something? There's, there's absolutely no lights around. But then I have to remind my, my dumbass. Um, yeah, you're, a, you're a guard. Oh, I am in a parking garage or something. Okay. You got to tell me. You got to tell me anything? Anything? Apparently I'm not supposed to go that way. Alright. We're going to walk into this very dark uh, parking complex and hopefully find something. Ooh. Okay, so we're in a parking complex. Flashlight can't be turned off. I was hitting F just now. Can I run? No, no running. No running in the complex. I'm assuming this is hopefully a door I have that I can use. Hi. Going further into my soul of hell. Okay, first door, as always. Screwdriver, one of the most useful tools in the world. Just a fuse. Yeah, well, you know what? There's more than needing just a fuse. We need to fuse. Duct tape, this can fix almost anything. Okay, so we got a screwdriver, some duct tape, and a fuse, which would be really nice because I'm pretty sure whatever's happened it needs a fuse. But, potato, potato. Is it more duct tape? Dude. Boxes. I'm still trying to think of what the premise is on this because I, I, I hadn't read it before starting the game. Shoot, I mean, you heard, you pretty much heard me earlier that uh, <laughs> I do not know. Some people don't know how to park their cars. What is this guy, double parked? Dude, this is the widest freaking... He's worried about them parking at an angle in a parking spot. I'm just worried about them taking up like two spots. Although this is extra thick. That's hilarious. I'm easily distracted. Okay, so parking complex. What's he got to say about this car? Nice car. My salary will let me buy one. Nice rims, bro. <laughs> okay, well... We are wandering around. I'm going to hug the walls because I obviously have no clue what else to do. Okay, so my shack should be up here on the right. A med kit. Grabbing pills. Office phone. 
Well, I've obviously missed something. I could swear I covered my bases. Ah, this is going to be a long walk. All right, let's reverse it. At some point, I'm going to see a car. Okay. So that's what leads to my, my shack. So, okay. Really don't know where we're going from here. I must have missed, like, the pixelized fuse box or something. Because at this point, I'm going... I don't see anything I'm gonna I'm gonna almost be on a bet and say it's gonna really suck if the fuse box was right by the guard shack the whole time oh so it's like a one and done dang okay so once you actually hover and it says something, you can't actually bring it. Oh, here we go. That's the fuse box, bro. Damn, it looks like the fuse is blown. I need to replace it. Oh, gee, what could possibly be next door? Is that a fuse? Definitely digging the uh, the vibe there. Okay, cool. Not like it wasn't already scary enough. Oh wow! Like this is not. Eh. Uh... What sound is it? The gate. Let me grab a screwdriver so I can shank somebody. Totally not in a hurry or anything. We're just going to casually, you know, pimp walk our way back to our uh, guard shack. <laughs> oh, dang. The gate is closed. What the hey? I should call the director. Why don't you just reopen the gate? I just, no, that's the first aid kit. I was like, it's the most bare shack ever. Complete with a uh, 1970s fluffy cushion chair type of thing. <laughs> hey, totally not going to investigate. Oh, Jesus. Some noise is distracting you from calling about the gate. So let's put two and two together. The gate's down. The lights went out. You try to make a phone call to find out why the gate's closed, but you hear a noise, which is obviously Curious George. Oh, we have creepy babies. Oh, why? Why? Oh, my God. You hear it say, Mama, Mama. It's, and it's coming from this car. Oh, God. This is a baby. I need to open the trunk. Dude, there's a reason that baby's in the trunk. If it's. Uh... Oh, see how he's naturally, naturally just fucking just running now. I'm like, oh, oh, now I have an emergency. It's a baby. It might be a baby. It could be just a voice recording for all we know. But, oh, duct tape. Let's take some of that and shut it up. I'm such a bad influence. All right. So, creepy baby. Totally not scary. All right. Let's go. Oh, 
Okay, I got goosebumps. Not, not. Please tell me this is a doll. It's not funny. I should check the fuses. Maybe you should have made the phone call, Curious George. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. It's like, oh, let's check the fuses. Maybe if you'd have made that phone call, someone would actually be able to get here to save you. But no, you're never. Your body's never gonna be found, bruv. Your body's never gonna be found now, cause you were curious, George, and like, oh, what's that noise? Let's go investigate. Holy cow! Someone ripped that to hell and back. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, power surge wouldn't do that. I, I'm sorry to say, that's why they have fuses. That fuse takes the blunt. This thing is ripped up. I can't fix it. Oh, no shit, Curious George. <laughs> ah, ah, the baby noises have stopped. Ah, it's Oscar Mike. We're gonna die. <laughs> Toy baby is Oscar Mike. Be on the lookout. Boy. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, what the? Oh. Oh no. It's heading towards my guard shack. I'm just gonna walk through it because this will be how I'm remembered. Walking through all this blood. Could have called the director. Could have got the hell out of Dodge. But no. We had to go see and investigate. Like, what the fuck? Hey, you know what? It's not the baby that got killed. What the f Oh no. I'm gonna turn around and something's gonna be there. Hey! Oh! Son of a... I need a drink after that. Dang. Apparently now I've been stuffed in a trunk. Hmm. Sounds like that sports car that we were looking at. That I can't afford on my paycheck. Night Guard. Remember, this is an introduction to a complete game. I hope you enjoyed. Follow me for new products on Twitter at QET... Q... Cubite Games. So, yes, this is actually something I would uh, follow up on. Good introduction. Not bad. A little short story in itself. But I want to know, like... Oh, it, it's got to be something psychotic just because of the fact that it had a baby in the trunk and it stabbed it. Why is there blood? I mean, there's just dozens of questions. So I'm hoping that this game will be already out or out soon. I haven't actually followed up to see if Night Guard is an actual game yet. So anyways, hope you enjoyed playing along with me. Um, I'm going to go look for this to see if it's actually up and running or a full game at this point and probably buy it. But anyways, um, for now, I'm going to let you go, cut the video short, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers. Alright. You know what? I didn't even see what the name of the game was. <laughs> it was like Night Guard or something. Damn. Way to go, Nay.